Welcome everyone. Uh, Incube works on transforming the food value chain with appropriate technology. The problem statement, uh, the broken food value chain across developing countries, farmer distress, reducing return on investments, and thereby significant threat to food security and sustainability. To address uh, this problem, Incube has developed an end-to-end -end ERP platform for the food sector. This is a cloud-based, open-source, multilingual uh, platform, and we are working on SaaS model to offer it to the B2B enterprises. And this entails for all the types of farm sectors. Farm to fork traceability is becoming increasingly important in the food business ecosystem worldwide. And we are completely ready for that. Uh, this is just to share a few live QR codes which are currently used by food product companies in India, Kenya, the UK, and Philippines. And this is a snapshot of our admin uh, dashboard. This is mostly used by the management of different enterprises who are working with us. And this is the uh, some screenshots of the app for farmer and the supervisors. And these are currently available in 20 languages across the world. As per uh, the market projections, the global food business is going to reach about $17 trillion by 2027. And it is expected by uh, that the technology providers will be able to create $200 billion of business out of that. And we are looking at 10% market share over the next five years. Currently, we are working with uh, 20 plus private enterprise users across India, Africa, UK, Peru, Philippines. And we are talking with some more as well. And we are also doing a few government level projects in India, Peru, and Kenya. Goal two and goal eight are the two SDG goals that we are focusing on in terms of our impact. And we have been acknowledged by, of course, Google. Other than that, UNDP, uh, Government of UK, and few other uh, organizations worldwide. Currently, Incube touches the lives of around 50,000 farmers, and we are eyeing to touch lives of 2 million plus farmers in next one or by next one year. We are clocking a revenue of uh, $400,000 in last year, and we are trying to raise a fund of 2 million USD by 2022 September. And this will be deployed in the GTM expenses and for the next level of software development. Incube team comes with a huge band of experience globally in all sectors of management, including the core subject domain expertise in agriculture and all of the core team members have on an average, I would say 25 years of global experience in different sectors. Uh, thank you. And we would be very happy to have any discussions forward uh, and happy to address any queries. Thank you so much. How do you ensure that like people working in the agriculture field are using your service because they often have not the affinity or like are that close to technology? And it requires, obviously, input from their end. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think, let me answer that. Yeah, of course, it's a journey because we are moving from the, the other side of digital divide and introduce technology. And we are mostly working in the B2B space, like we are working with the last mile enterprises and aggregators. They can be cooperative societies, pharma clubs, organic farms, and uh, things like that. And we are seeing with our experience of low, last three, four years that once the farmer gets value, which is important for his livelihood, he will increase his propensity to use. Otherwise, he will not. So it is all about the support system being able to create value for his livelihood. And, and, and of course, one thing Chobankar has mentioned, the platform is completely vernacular. We have got currently interface in about 20 languages because farmers don't understand anything other than the vernacular. So we are continuously trying to improve our UI to make it farmer friendly. That's a journey, but I think we are trying to do that. Okay, thank you. When you say creating value for the farmers, how do you measure that? Okay, so we also have a 
a simple tool in the platform to calculate farm level income and expenses. So any farmer who is a part of the platform can log in any small income, small expenses. So at any point of time, he has a clear visibility of how much surplus he being able to create out of his sort of, you can say, livelihood activity. That's one part of it. The other values are solving his problems on a real time, pays, disease, insects, whatever sector he is in, getting regular updated weather forecast data for his location, being able to access agri inputs and stuff like that. So his entire farm value cycle, all the touch points where he needs support of information, we are trying to touch base. 